what Minnesota's Lake of the Woods is famous for in the winter time, well in all seasons, but we're up here ice fishing at Arneson's Rocky Point Resort and that's what we're chasing right there. Tim just got one too. Walleyes and saugers in a great place to do it. If you like to fish in the winter time and do it comfortably, man, they are snapping, boys. Just a little sauger to start us out, but we're going to talk about catching walleyes and saugers on the ice. It's a great place to do it in northern Minnesota. Mark, you got a fish on a dead stick. Yeah. They really haven't wanted the dead sticks today. Everything's been having to jig them up off the bottom and through the water column. And we haven't caught a fish on a dead stick today. We'll talk about active presentations and dead sticks here in a second, but that's the first one. And Mark said he had one on the bottom. He bet me, he said, I'm, I bet this is a Wally or a Sauger. I said, not a chance. It'll be a Tulabi. I owe him a dollar. Dead stick. Oh, you've got to be kidding. How about it? Dead sticks are coming around. Just a little guy. He ate that little dead stick. Let him go. And I rig mine on just a it's, a, it's a medium light rod with a really fast tip on it. And just a little teardrop, little VMC teardrop jig there with a whole minnow. You can see the one that just got bit there is still wiggling. I'll put a fresh one on. And I just set that in a rod holder and just watch that. Uh, Mark, you prefer to use a, a bobber on yours. This is a setup I like to use. Use a little jigging spoon or a little teardrop and then a little foam bobber and then you trim the bobber to the weight of your lure. I'll show you how I got the LX7 Markham set up here. These are actually, we've been catching a lot of these walleyes. Um, you know, we're in 32 feet of water, but we've been seeing a lot of suspended fish come through there and then the saugers have been lower. But I've got the view with the split screen there showing the, the vertical um, flasher as well as the historical graph. And then I've got a zoom screen just got tuned up to the bottom 10 feet of the water column. So you can zoom right in here and see what's going on in the core area where a lot of those fish are being caught. Nice thing is when the high fish come in up here, you'll see them in the graph or on the main vertical flasher there and you can rise up to get them. I think we got another one of the right color. That makes a smile. That makes a smile. Look at the size of that sauger. I mean, that is a beauty. Perfect. And we've talked about it many times, the difference between the sauger and the walleye. The saugers have the spots on the dorsal, the walleyes don't. No white tip on the tail of a sauger. Walleyes always have that. And then the saugers are much more brown or mottled color compared to the walleyes, which are much more green and gold colored. So, Up on Lake of the Woods in the winter, we have an eight fish limit between walleye and sauger. No more than four of them can be walleyes. We got a slot on the lake of between 19 and a half and 28 inches. Those are automatic releases and you can have one trophy over 28 inches. We're having a fish fry in Rock Harbor Lodge tonight. You know when you stay at Arneson's you can choose from the housekeeping plan. They have a variety of different cabins right on the shores of Lake of the Woods. You bring your own groceries, your beverages, do your own cooking or you can go on the meal plan have a hearty breakfast in the lodge in the morning, sack lunch out while you're fishing, and then a choice of menu items in the lodge for dinner. Fully guided out here, you know, Captain Tim and the other uh, drivers will take care of you while you're out here. They'll check on you during the day, give you some fishing tips. You know, the house over here is catching them on pink and pink glow. You can change up your lures and make sure you have enough bait, uh, anything else that you might need. They'll shuttle you out to these fish houses. The holes are cut, they're preheated. You just bring your fishing gear and your drinks and your lunches with you. And then they'll pick you up at the end of the day and bring you back to base. fish with 24 to 28 inch medium light or up to medium action graphite rods. Six to eight pound suffix ice magic from monofilament line. If you like ice braid, that's great. You can put on a, a floral leader below that. Um, I'm using these Mojo Ice St. Croix rods. You know, this is a 28 inch medium light action. It's got this opening in the, in the reel handle here underneath this reel seat. So you can put your finger right on the blank. A little extra sensitivity for that. Bring a couple different rods with and you don't have to retie as often. 
But when you're seeing fish on your graph, that's when you want to be fishing them, trying to get a, trigger them to bite. When you don't see fish on your graph, reel up, change lures, colors, styles, freshen up your bait. You're going to put more fish in the house over the course of the day if you're really actively fishing for them. Unbelievable winter fishing up here. Three limits of walleyes and saugers and a whole mess of tula beasts to smoke. If you'd like to experience incredible Minnesota winter fishing, Arneson's Rocky Point Resort is the place to do it. Mark, how do folks reach you? Well, you can give us a call at 1-800-535-7585 or look us up at the web at arnesons.com. With Captain Tim Hill, Mark Arneson, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>